What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, the birthday edition right here. In our last episode, we got the introductions out of the way. We got the tours out of the way. We captured our very first Pokemon, which is Pidgey, slash Hurricane. Found out that we can actually get experience points from just capturing Pokemon, which makes this game a little too easy, and uh, yeah, we got Kakashi Hatake. Plus, we found out that we got two girlfriends, too, so that's pretty awesome right there. And so, it is time to move on right here. Oh, let's, let's go. Lego. Okay, so, normally I like to capture a lot of Pokemon before we go in, but there are a few Pokemon in this forest right here that I would actually like to literally have on my team before I, you know, I go into the next city right here. So, before we do anything, we're going to be battling Youngster Austin. He does have his Sigzagoon right here. And Kakashi Hitake, ready to kick some blood, take some names, and all that stuff to Lego, right here. Now, there is a little something, guys. We haven't been introduced to the PC yet. Capturing a buttload of Pokemon is cool and all, but if you wanted to capture a specific Pokemon within the forest, you guys gotta be a little patient because, well, you know... Yeah, you gotta be a little patient with trying to find some specific Pokemon right here because, yeah, they, they will go to the PC, you won't be having access until, I don't know, probably the very, very end right here. And here we go, another bubble attack. Kicks Zigzagoon's butt real quickly, and look at that, level 7, Kakashi kicks butt. Alrighty, and we defeated Youngster Austin right here, that is awesome right there. Okay, so let us move on. The forest we're going to be going into is the Santa Loon Forest. And it's pretty much just like the Viridian Forest in the original versions right here. Now, before you move on a little forward, you got your girlfriend right here, Shauna, saying, Wait up! Let's walk together. I feel like something exciting will happen if I stay by you. I'll heal your Pokemon whenever you want me to. Okay, so who needs potions when you got Shauna right here? And this is the Santa Loon Forest. Keep an eye out for dropped items. I see one. I'm gonna pick it up. There we go. Now, let's see. The birthday edition, guys. Like I promised, 10 episodes and all. And I, again, I hope you guys enjoy them. And, uh, well, if you guys are wondering how old I'm turning, well, it's finally happened, guys. It is finally happening. I'm turning 30 years old. I'm getting old. I'm really getting old. Not really. I feel alive. 30 years. God dang. And I'm still playing Pokemon? Shoot. Should probably have a real job or something. <laughs> I guess nowadays, real jobs is you're essential and then bam. Whatever. Anywho, let's go right here and, uh, well, uh, a few Pokemon you can actually find right here. Of course, the bug type Pokemon like Weedle, Caterpie, and all that. You can find Pikachu in this place. And, uh, let's see, the Elemental Monkeys is another Pokemon you can find as Panpour comes out. Wanting to play, yay! Okay, so let's go right ahead and use Pound. Now I'm going to try and capture as many Pokemon as possible here because all these Pokemon are important. I mean, eventually, well, now that I got now that, now that I got a Nintendo Switch, I kind of want to transfer a lot of these Pokemon over to the next game. So hopefully, hopefully that will happen in the near future right here. And Pampoor is... Uh, yeah, Pampoor is going uh, it's going down right here, so let's go right ahead and use this one right here. The uh, last item. Now, I think in Pokemon Black, I named the one of the elemental monkeys that I got, Mr. Teeny. I think I should call this guy like Mr. Teeny Blue. But then again, I kind of don't want to nickname the, those Pokemon. I don't know. So there it is, guys. We got ourselves another Mr. Teeny right here, or spray Pokemon Pampoor, the water type Pokemon. The water stored inside its uh, tuft on its head is full of nutrients. It waters plants with using its tail. Oh damn, it's pretty cool. No, no nickname. Now she did say she's gonna heal our Pokemon, so please heal my Pokemon. Thank you. Now let's move on forward right here. Santalus Forest is pretty good. And he has found something here. Your Pokemon, okay, you should use a potion. Now, there is a specific Pokemon that I kind of want to get right here. But we're going to have to be patient. And would you look at that? 
And <laughs> we found it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be capturing this Pikachu. Now, mind you, Pikachu won't be on our team very, very long. It, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know how to put it to you guys. I did say I already planned out a team. And it's going to be tri it's going to be a tribute to well it's going to be a tribute to all six generations from you know the very beginning to Kalos and I get it that we're gonna get a starter Pokemon like from a, a, a Kanto starter Pokemon that's why Pikachu is just gonna be a temporary Pokemon on our team and look at that we grow to level eight yeah buddy and we're learning quick attack right here. Okay, so here we go. We got ourselves a female Pikachu. Pikachu, the mouse Pokemon. It raises its tail to check its surroundings. The tail is sometimes struck by lightning in this pose. Well, that's pretty cool. And of course, since it's a female Pokemon, you guys already know who I'm gonna nickname this guy after. That's right, guys. After my baby girl, Aaliyah, my niece, which you guys already know. I already featured her once in Pokemon Leaf Green, I think. Yes. Alright, please heal my Pokemon. So, that's pretty cool right there. Let's go ahead and check out this new version of Aaliyah. Let's see. And, well, in Pokemon X and Y, they finally put, you know, Pikachu's real voice in. Of course, level 3, Thundershock and Tail Whip, and it is Electric-type Pokemon. Its defense is not that great, but its speed is right there. And it has static as its a uh, its ability, so that's pretty cool right there. Now, what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and train it up just a little bit because yeah, our first gym battle is going to be against bug type uh, bug type people, and I kind of don't want to lose against bug type. I really don't. So here we have a Weedle, and you guys already know I'm gonna capture this little guy. Nope, I made it faint. Yeah, that did not work. That did not work on my half. Yeah. So, I think, yeah, I'm going to be going off screen. Yeah, I'm going to be going off screen and capturing most of these Pokemon right here. This guy is actually battling this kid right here. And, okay, so moving on forward. Shauna notices something. Oh, hang on one second, Dra or Sensei. And, uh, well, look what I found, Sensei. I'll give it to you. I love puzzles, so I, lo I watch everything more closely than you might think. And we get ourselves a paralysis heal. And that right there is actually beneficial for us. Now, I'm going to try and train up uh, Aaliyah just a little bit because, yeah, kind of need a balanced team. And, well, here's a Pokemon trainer. Come on, Scatterbug, let's powder this punk. Oh, okay, so he's going to powder this punk. Here we have another youngster, Joey, and he's coming out with his Scatterbug right here. Okay. And Aaliyah, ready to take the reins. Both level 3. Hey, let's go! Thundershock right here. And uh, that takes a good amount. Okay, alrighty. And, uh, okay, so... It's gonna be very physical. But I'm gonna be very special right here. Ralph Wiggum from The Simpsons. I'm gonna be very special. And good God! That was a critical hit, but you are static now. That's right. You are paralysis. So here we go. Thundershock. For the win. Look at that. It's like we never missed a step right there. And here he, he's going to be coming out with a Fledgling. The bird type Pokemon of this whole region right here. And it's actually a Pokemon that I, well, that I was initially interested in when I first played Pokemon X and Y. Hmm. Chances are I might be using this, one, this Pokemon for just a little bit. Because it does, it, it does eventually evolve into a fire type Pokemon, so it is both wine and fire. Haven't seen that since two legendary Pokemon that we played back in the day. And here we go, another Thunder Shock for the win. Fledgling defeated. I feel good about myself. Hell yeah! And look at that. Aaliyah grows to level four. That a girl. Okay, alrighty, so eh, we're doing great. Great as gravy right here, and well, we're gonna try and find some more Pokemon. Let's see. We got a female Pikachu again, which I kinda don't need. I really don't. So I'm gonna move on right here. Now, if you guys are wondering, yes, I will be trading Pokemon 
from X to uh, Omega Ruby every once in a while just to fill up my Pokedex in Omega Ruby and all that stuff. And then hopefully, I want to say by the time we go to the Pokemon League, or we already went to the Pokemon League in Omega Ruby, but once we battle, like, have the ability to battle the, uh, the, the Pokemon League uh, ever so often, I'm going to be featuring this team right here. In Omega Ruby, I will have a, somewhat of a series of, you know, Draven Battles the Elite Four and all that crud. And what am I doing? Okay, so what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and capture my Sparky, which of course it's a male Pikachu and all that. So let's go, Kakashi Hitake. Try not to get paralyzed and oh crud. Doesn't take that much. God dang it! Okay, so. That takes that, but we do have quick attack, so hopefully, good guy, don't move. And here comes another. Oh, right. Okay, so <laughs> we're not doing so hot right now. So here we go, quick attack. Nearly takes him out, and here comes that tail whip. So we got one more quick attack to do before we really shut the bed right here. So let's go, quick attack. And you are now weakened, and here comes that thunder shine. Okay, so let's go with the bag. Let's throw another Pokeball at you because you're gonna be Sparky. Now, off screen, I will be doing a lot of capturing, guys. I will be filling up my PCs uh, with different kinds of Pokemon and all that stuff. And I am planning on transferring Pokemon left and right right here. Something that I probably should have done since the get go was get Pokemon Bank onto this 3DS. I have an old 3DS that I keep on, you know, using for Pokemon Bank. It makes it so much easier for me to just transfer in and out and all that crud for all my games. And yes, I will be giving you a nickname, and of course, we're going to be naming you Sparky from Pokemon Yellow. So look at that, we got the ability to capture multiple Pikachus. Talk to this guy. Yes, please heal my Pokemon. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, oh, look at that, our girlfriend's like, do you want more Pokeballs? Yes, we do. You see, guys, if you got two girlfriends, make sure they have, make sure they both have your back. Like the left and the right side. Those are my girls right there. That's right. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here to Kakashi Hitake right here. Now, we already got Aaliyah at level 5. Your Pokemon are in for a shock. Okay. If that doesn't mean anything, I don't even know what it is. So here we go. Last Anna wants the battle. And, of course, she will be coming out with her very own Pikachu. And, let's see. Quick attack for the win. That's right. Bam. And, here comes that Thunder Shock. That's right. And, eventually, we're probably going to get paralyzed here. Either, either way, there's going to be some paralysis. And, bam. Defeated Pikachu quickly. And, there's a lot of experience points right there. There we go. Okay. You want to kill my Pokemon? That's good. That's very, very good. Okay. So yes, I do have so many Pokemon, but this lady right here is like the best part about Pokemon battles is what is that they can happen any anytime and anywhere, anytime and anyone, and all that stuff. Didn't read it correctly, but it's okay. Here we go. Last Lease wants the battle coming with her Beetle. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. So let's see. There's something I want to talk about. Yeah, probably. One thing's for sure, guys. Um, yeah, this is the 10th anniversary of my channel. Well, not today, but December 19th. But this this is the 10th uh, year that I've been doing YouTube and all that stuff. And I and I get it that you know I've been doing this for a while uh, since I was 20, and I learned a lot of things along the way. Lots, a lot, lots of things. One of them is being patient with the walkthroughs that I do, and I get it, I've been doing multiple walkthroughs as of lately, but trust me guys, this pandemic is actually giving me the opportunity to, you know, store up everything in bulk and then, you know, get them out there as quickly as possible because, believe it or not guys, if you haven't done any kind of YouTubing, if you haven't had any experience, you know, uploading videos, you can schedule these uh, these videos to come in certain days. That's that's why you know every single day in the last few months you've been seeing some Pokemon walkthrough videos because do them in bulk, 
schedule them throughout the days and it makes it so much easier for me to just like you know go on and do my own business while these guys are getting uploaded so yeah 10 years guys turning 30 tomorrow july 11th and yeah if you guys have me on twitter instagram or anything make sure you know comment down like comment just happy birthday and all that stuff i will make sure to retweet you and all that stuff too and look at that potion okay so we're at the very end of this place right here but there's one pokemon that i still want to get and it's not that guy it really isn't okay so kakashi hitake right here doesn't want any of his water smoke right here so let's move on to the next place towards the very 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 end right here and once we reached it there's girlfriend number one and it's like so you're the first to arrive looks like the looks like my new neighbor uh, my new neighbor is someone with a lot of potential it is the way Pokemon move is just incredible I want to show uh, show off some of uh, that spirit when I dance you know could you think about something uh, could you think about something besides how Pokemon move for once damn we're all here. Let's go to Santa Loon City. All right, Power Rangers, let's go. Alrighty, look at that. Okay, so if we were the actual Power Rangers, what would I be? What would Trevor be? Uh, Tierno be? Shauna and uh, what's your face? Uh, the other girlfriend, Sabrina. Yes, what would she be? What are you all gonna do? Why look for Pokemon, of course. The professor did ask us to complete the Pokédex after all. And furthermore, different Pokémon prefer living in different places. To put it another way, it's a chance to find different Pokémon than the ones in the forest. I'll bet different Pokémon will use different moves. I sure want to see lots of moves. What are you going to do, Serena? I'm going to go to the Santa Luna City Gym and challenge the gym leader. You see, Pokémon trainers find out how good they really are by challenging the leaders in the uh, Pokémon gyms. Wow, you sure know a lot. It's because my mom and dad taught me so much. Here, I have something for you guys. Adventure rules. I wrote down 10 different tips every trainer should know. Here's one for you. Bam. Okay, I'm not going to read those adventure rules, by the way. And, well, she's going to be like, if you are puzzled about something, try looking in, uh, in these rules. Okay. Oh, this is great. I'm going to spend more time with uh, getting, to lo getting to know my little Finnegan. What are you going to do, Sensei? Well, I'm going to go follow Sabrina because she's looking mighty fine today. Uh, let's see, talk to this guy. Each Pokemon moves, it has PP. That stands for power points. If the, power if the number of points for a, mo a move is zero, you can't use that move. Go to the Pokemon Center and they'll restore them for you for free. And then talk to Homeboy here. Your Pokemon's HP, if it gets low, you have to go to the Pokemon Center. Sensei, I think you should go there too. Hmm. Alright, so normally I would stop this episode right here, but we're going to go through Route 3 and get to the next town. And, well, let's go ahead and start sharing some experience points right here with Leah. So, let's go right here. Mommy told me that I should battle anyone who, get, who greets me. Technically, I didn't greet you. I really didn't. I did not greet you. So here he comes out with a Caterpie. And, well, it is time for Aaliyah to just start destroying everybody. And, well, Thundershunk for the win. Look at that. And, well, of course, Caterpies will always go with a String Shot first because, I don't know, they want to have advantage at the speed. But looking for us, we got Thundershock and some speed. And bam. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty. So we're already kicking some butt right here. And uh, he's coming out with an Azurul. Okay. As you, many of you guys should know, Azurul, baby form of uh, Meryl right here. And the little guy right here just sprays us with water. But Thundershock does it. So here we go again. A Thundershock. And oh, what, 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 what's the splash going to do to us? I don't know. And look at that. Azurul defeated. Okay. Leah kicking butt. And getting some levels. That's great. Alrighty. So mommy told me to be play, especially when I lose. <laughs> okay. 
Well, if you're not that competitive, then you probably shouldn't be that mad. Okay, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here with Kakashi Hitake right now. And let's go right ahead and start battling some more trainers. Pokemon battles are really hard. I just let Pichu do what it wants. What? Oh god, okay, so she is like super inexperienced right here. And here she comes out with a Pichu. Right off the bat, we're like digging on some baby Pokemon right now, which is cool. And, well, I I kind of hope it doesn't have a... Uh... Oh yeah, I kind of I kinda hope it... Oh, but it does. Well, it has Spark. And that kind of... That kind of proved me wrong right there. So, look at that. And we defeated Preschool Elia, or Ellie, or Ella, or whatever. I don't know. Under her umbrella. Okay, so, let's see. I'm gonna, yeah, try and find a Pokemon right here that I kind of need for the next one. And, well, we found a Burmy, so there's no point in us not capturing it. And, like, damn, I forgot that we were uh, paralyzed. And this guy likes to go with uh, Protect. Luckily for us, we can't attack because we're paralyzed thanks to that little Pichu right there. And wow. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna there's no way we're gonna hit this Pokemon right now. So here we go, protect. Doesn't do it, doesn't do it. And well, we're gonna try and capture this Burman right here. Now, if you guys are trying to figure out who I'm trying to capture, it's a fledgling. And I think it evolves early on in this whole adventure right here, so. There we go. Burmy. You are about to be captured, you butthole. Alrighty, so here we go. Pokebola, go. Look at that. One. God dang it. And, well, let's go right ahead and do this one more time. Pokebola, go. Come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the freaking ball. Stay in the ball. So there we go, guys. We cut ourselves a Burmy. Not going to be used on the team, but that's just for the collection right there. And, well, let's see what this Pokemon is all about. The bad work Pokemon, Pokemon it shel to, or to shelter itself from the cold, wintry winds, it covers itself with a cloak of made of twigs and leaves. Yeah, not going to nickname them because... Yeah, not going to be a part of the team or anything. Okay, so this might have to be an off-screen kind of issue. Now, going downstairs right here... Coming through! Oh damn, okay. So we got a few more trainers to battle right here. And, well, let's see. Switch out the Pokemon. Heal up uh, Kakashi. And we'll be fine. So right now we don't have a lot in the sense of medicine, but eventually that's going to change right there. And, well, let's go. Hey! My Pokemon and I starting. Want to join us? Sure. So here we go, guys. Another battle. Schoolgirl Bridget, and she will be coming with a Beedoof, okay? Many of you guys thought that Beedoof was like a water type Pokemon at the beginning, but nope. Normal type. It's a normal type. Eventually, it does go into water type and all that stuff. So here we go. Bubble attack. Come on. And this bubble, oh wow, he's gonna be just using growl and stuff. Okay, so let's go. Another bubble attack. And bam. Look at that, Bidoof defeated. Okay, alrighty. And well, Bridget is king. Yeah, we kicked her butt. Pretty good. Very, very good. Okay, so let's move on right here. Let's see. Found ourselves an item. Look at that, guys. We found ourselves a super potion. Definitely needed. And a little more grass, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right now. I think we could find the Pokemon in time before we start, you know, going uh, to the next town. And here we are, finding ourselves in Azuril. Okay. Again, many of you guys don't know, but I'm taking the opportunity to capture as many Pokemon as possible before I get to the next town. Mainly because it just, you know, it helps with the experience points and all that stuff. And it does help with my collection. You know, eventually, you know, evolving and all that stuff. And Azuril happens to be one of these Pokemon that, you know, I, I kind of have difficulty uh, trying to find. So let's go ahead and use that uh, Pokeball right there. Look at that. Pokeball, go. 
Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Yes. Okay, look at that. Azuril has just been caught. I am happy. And, well, here's the next uh, entry into our Pokedex. It is a normal and fairy type Pokemon. A Pokemon that lives by water, it moves quickly on land by bouncing on its big tail. Now, another thing that's new here, like that was new going into X and Y, is the fairy type Pokemon, which, you know, happens to be the dragon type Pokemon's Kryptonite. Now, we've already, you know, we've already had experience with flip fairy type Pokemon in Omega Ruby Alpha Zapphire. I mean, we did jump the gun going there first, and yeah, it is a it is a very very good typing to have on your team. And right now I'm kind of screwed over because uh, Pan Sage. Yeah, but like I said, guys, it is a very very good uh, typing to actually have. And I do have one Pokemon in mind that I kind of want to use for this whole adventure right here. And it has fairy type capabilities and all that stuff. You guys probably already know who it is. I'm not going to spoil it or anything. But eventually you'll see it in episode maybe three or four, maybe five, six, seven, I don't know. Shoot, we might have half our team by the time uh, we get to episode ten. I don't even know. And look at that, Pan Sage has been defeated. And we grow another level, level eleven. Yeah, buddy. And, well, it's going to come out with a Pan Sage, so I'm going to stay put right here. Alrighty. Let's get this. Bubble attack. Le Bubble from Le Champion. Look at that. Chris Jericho has defeated him. Okay. And, uh, well, he's going to come out with a Pampor. So let's go right ahead and switch to Aaliyah right here. Now, many of you guys are looking at Sparky there. And you're saying that you got Sparky. Why aren't you training him? Eventually, you know, I'm going to use him. Eventually. Just, you know, because I have my niece. And my niece, you know, wants her Pokemon to be featured in as many Pokemon getting games as possible. Well, yeah, I'm going to do that for the time being. But remember, Aaliyah will not be on our team for, like, very, very, very long. I do have a, a nice team already assembled or planned. And, of course, look at that. Aaliyah learns Play Nice, and Brighton has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. Okay, so let's move on. And she is not a trainer. I went to the Pokemon Center because I was asked to buy Pokeballs. Okay. So here it is, guys. Santaloon City. And before we finish anything, let's just go into the Pokemon Center and do this. Huh. Oh, hey there, Sensei! Are you here to get Pokemon Heal too? Pokemon Centers are sure great! You can talk to the lady on the corner and have her heal your Pokemon. And you even can, you can even deposit your Pokemon you've caught in that PC. You know how to Pokemon or know how Pokemon are sent to the PC when you've caught more than you can carry? That's where they go. Oh, he's dancing. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah, Sensei. There's a Pokemon in the back of the Pokemon Center. It's a good idea to stock up on Pokeballs and potions and stuff in the Pokemon too. Look at that. Okay, so. We reached the Pokemon Center. I do have a few things that I need to do off screen before I do anything else, like capture as many Pokemon as possible. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode right here. Uh, stay tuned. Another episode will be coming out today, July 10th. And, well, I'm kind of hoping we're going to be doing a Pokemon Gym Battle pretty soon here. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.